growing the array. One of the things that I positively love about Unraid is this. And I want to start with the, the free version of the software because that's where I kind of wanted to keep things tonight. But of course, you can, always, you can always expand, and I encourage you to do so. It's a great application, and I think that uh, you know, if you can get the, the $70 or the $120 version, great. But if you're, let's say you're stuck with the, th with the three hard drives, right? You've got your parity drive and your two data drives. Here's the thing. I've got that, that 750 gig parity drive, which is my largest drive. I've got a 400 gig and I've got a 160. You saw with the 400 and the 160 gig hard drives. Those are my data drives. Those gave us about 520 gigs of usable storage space, give or take, if I recall correctly from the video there. So what I can do are you ready for this? If you're looking for an advantage to Unraid over other solutions, okay? On the Unraid panel, you can stop the array, you can shut down Unraid. Done. The computer's off, you're good to go. But let's pretend we're low on space on that array, right? Remember, we're not upgrading the software, we're still sticking with the three, the free license. So here I am, I've got the computer turned off, okay? I take out that 160 gig drive. That's it. Take it out. You don't have to do anything else. Put in a 500 gigabyte drive, okay, in its place. So then you're going to take the same cable that was plugged into the 160, you're going to plug that into the 500, you're going to fire up that computer again. The array is going to say that the drive has changed. You've got a new drive on the where, whatever cable that is that the, the 160 was on. So then you tell it that it can rebuild that drive and format it and do a, go through everything that you saw there and it's going to actually use the data that's stored on the the other drives and it's going to rebuild that hard drive with the exact same data that used to be on the 160 gig drive so very similar to a, a raid but again this is not raid this is something very very different in the fact that the capacities of the drives are different so then that drive has now been rebuilt so everything that is on that 160 gig drive is now copied onto the 500 gig drive, but you didn't have to do it. It's all automatic. Then the array comes online. Parity might have to rebuild. It's possible, but essentially, when when it's all said and done, you're left with a, a raid or an unraid array now that is 500 gigs plus a 400 gig drive, rather than 400 plus 160. So you know, if we do basic math, we're going to find out that it's roughly like 900 gigs, 850 gigs to somewhere around there. So that's pretty decent, but so easy to do. So I like that. I like that a lot. 